So we had the SID Display Week uh, right here in Los Angeles. And hello. Hello. Uh, I, my name is Quincy Lin uh, from uh, Wirinox, Milan, China. So uh, you're making some new, uh, very advanced, what, this is flexible OLED? Uh, flexible OLED, yeah. Flexible OLED. So this is like an e-book, e-book yeah. style? Yeah, right. This is e-book. And also uh, like this, what is the style right uh, here? I, I, this is my, okay, so this is my jewelry yo, box. Uh, yeah. my, my colleague uh, Terry will introduce it. Yeah, please. Okay, okay. Yeah. thanks a lot. Okay. Yeah. Hi, hi, so hi everyone. Uh, actually, uh, we, we made the flexible AMOLED. Uh, it's a flexible substrate that it can yeah. make different types. So this is actually the smart cup. You, you can see that it's the same flexible AMO, AMO, yeah. AMOLED inside. It's a yeah. smart cup. Yeah, smart cup. And this is actually ebook, as you just mentioned. Yeah. yeah, it's also, actually it's the same one. You can how, see do you, that how do you do this? Yeah, it's, it's uh, this uh, dual, uh, dual screen. The same, the same, the same uh, flexible AMOLED, and it's flexible. Yeah, it yeah, flexible. Yeah, flexible. You this is just a prototype, right? Yeah, yeah. Cannot if, totally flexible right now. Uh, I don't suggest so. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. This is a prototype, but yeah. it's be it looks beautiful. So yeah, we don't. You, wanna... you know, we are panel makers. We don't make the uh, devices, but we, yeah. this is our concept product that our uh, our customers they can they can make such product. And the resolution yeah. is 1080 by 2160. Yeah. Uh, this is, has a high contrast, 5.99. 5.99, and you can see the all these products, 5.99. 5.99. Yeah. Why 5.99? Yeah, basically it's a very typical product for smartphone, uh, for smartphone market, and we also adopted. Sorry, we, yeah. we also adopted for these uh, concept like smart car, like yeah. the jewelry box, like so the, jewelry box. Yeah. So it's a box Great. with Great. a screen Great. all around, like this. And um, so yeah, you can see the, this is a different shape, right? All the all the same same one. So um, and how about this one? It's yeah, smart speaker. You know, you know the smart speaker, smart display is quite popular nowadays. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, we believe that uh, you know smart display is kind of flat type, but for smart speaker, we believe that it's natural, uh, long time. So how soon can we have a 5.99 inch? So uh, actually, actually, we already we uh, six inch flexible. I believe you can find uh, that way. Well, uh, okay, yeah. We already mass. Uh, this is already for mass production, mass production. product. Yeah. Flexible OLED. Yeah, yeah. So, for example, like right here. Yeah, this, this is, is actually the six inch, six point oh one inch. There's no bezel. Yeah, this is zero panel. zero bezel. Yeah, this is a panel. Actually, uh, oh, yeah. just a panel. This, yeah, this is for the size. So um, in point 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 nine millimeter. And. Uh, you want like this, for example? This is a full yeah. Fox smartphone? This is a 6 inch. Uh, it, yeah, yeah, this, this is exactly the, the is smart... Is it a real product or is it a prototype? Is it in the market? Can you hold, hold it around? Yeah, I think so. Ah, yeah, so yeah. it's an elephant. Nice. So it's... Nice. So, uh, what is special about your OLED compared to other company? Like, uh, mm -hmm. uh, compared to Samsung, for example? Uh, What's the difference? Well, so I, I think we adopt the, uh, the same technology for RGB, uh, RGB based AMOLED, so I, I say it's the same product. But, uh, yeah. but yours yeah. is going to be bigger quantity? Um, How soon? Right now, Samsung is bigger, but. Yeah, this so year, when are you, you going to be number one? You're number one in China, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Number one in front yeah. of uh, Tianma or other yeah, companies? Yeah, uh, actually for last year, uh, we share similar base, uh, market base with LED display, but uh, we are leading leading one because we've got uh, uh, 15K uh, Gen, 5 5, Gen 5 5 capacity. And for this year, actually, I, um, I, I don't think I can share the exact... The secret, yeah? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah, but I can see that in the first quarter, our shipment results have increased. Uh, significantly, so basically, this for this year, uh, we, we can totally increase very fast. What is the yeah. Gen 5.5, Gen yeah. 6? Uh, how many phone display inside yeah. the Gen 5.5? Yeah, actually, you put many, many inside. Yeah, actually, for this part, it's rigid AMOLED. Uh, it's from our Gen 5.5. We've got uh, 15K capacity. What is 15K? How big is the uh, uh, factory? Uh, for the muscle gas, Gen 5.5 is like. Uh, uh, for example, like it's this wide, like this uh, wide, and this tall. So there's many, many smartphone display inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, yeah, for for, for this one, actually we can cut 144 
144. You need, yeah, for the, I, I mean, for, for, for one uh, math class. And one, yeah. every single one is perfect? Uh, some is basically, there should be some year rate, but... Uh, few, few yield uh, discarded, right? Yeah. But yeah. most is usable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, the resolution of, the, of uh, Gen 5.5 uh, and Gen 6, is there something to do with the resolution or is it only about size? Uh, nowadays, actually, uh, uh, the major market demand is Full HD+, plus, but for 2K and 4K, it's OK for us. Nice. Yeah. And let's look at some of the other ones right here. Yeah. So you're yeah. also this showing some of the notch, notch design. Notch. Yeah, this is, is 6.2 inch. Is notch, is it more expensive than no notch? Yeah. yeah because you have to cut? Yeah. You have to cut here? Yeah, so cut here. Yeah. So it's more expensive. So, for example, there's some Chinese brands, right? Um, uh, maybe this is also. Is all this is real product on the market, right? Is is what in China people can buy this now? Yeah. And Duji, I think Duji. Yeah. yeah. Actually, they announced this one uh, during the MWC. Nice. Yeah. And this is also another one. Oh, all right. Um, so what is AMOLED? Yeah. Uh, AMOLED. Compared to OLED. What is AM? Uh, actually, it's kind of TFT driving uh, driving solution. Uh, it's kind like of. Active Metrics. Yeah, yeah. Active, active Metrics. Yeah, OLED. It all did part, actually, uh, AMOLED. Yeah. And some other... The fan, this is the, the, the exact one, 5.99 yeah. inch. Yeah. But all these, when you use Flexible here, um, it's more like for the edge, right? You're yeah. doing an edge. Yeah. But when are we going to see fully flexible phone? Ah, oh, actually, I, I said, I said, let's go. Okay. Yeah. You know, for the next step of uh, flexible AMOLED, it should be foldable, and this is actually the demonstration. Let's try to get it. Yeah, I, I think we need to wait. <laughs> Nice. Wow. So this is our most latest uh, foldable product. Whoa. That's a very small yeah, bending yeah. radius, right? Yeah. Yeah. How small? Uh, I, it's one point six millimeter. It's a wonder bending. One point six. Yeah. The smallest in the industry. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. 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 And uh, let's let's uh, yeah. move right over here. These are uh, here. We have another foldable one. This shows how how it's folded. Why does it say 2015 above? It's not possible to buy this yet. Uh, but you had this actually already this, working. You know, this is actually our demonstration. It's uh, to, uh, actually AMOLED, AMOLED module, but uh, our customers they still need to consider about uh, the other part, like the battery, like the uh, you know, like the OS. Yeah, so but I believe that you can find the, the product very soon, but not, not right now. And you can also fold it the other way? Close it? Yeah, actually, uh, we've got like, yeah. this one. Right here? This one. Yeah. So, this one, as, as Dr. Zhang mentioned, it's kind of uh, by direction for the ball. Any chance you can take, take the glass? Uh, just one second. Okay, uh, just for a second, no problem. <laughs> so, so, it's flexible in there yeah and uh, this one is showing it in real time flexing so flexible OLED is a is a big deal for Visionox right yeah we've been focusing uh, for uh, I mean we've been focusing on AMOLED for 22 years so we got developed you know kind of strong technology for the football uh, football uh, product how did you become number one in China oh why are you number one yeah, because we uh, we've been uh, we we actually we start mass production from the from 2016 and uh, after 2017 actually our sh shipment scale uh, you know increased a lot in uh, actually for these Chinese uh, Chinese smartphone brands we are popular yeah. yeah. Let's let's walk around over here. Yeah. There's also a, a big market happening with the uh, automotive, right? Yeah. There's gonna be some yeah. cars with uh, all kinds of flexible displays. Let's we'll jump in here, sir. So you got like a, sh a display that's shaped around the dashboard. Yeah, actually, that's uh, kind of car display. It's demonstration. In yeah. future, actually, we believe that uh, you know when automotive driving uh, yeah. getting material, that the drivers they can release the hand and they 
they can enjoy 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 the time in, inside the vehicle. You and know, for both uh, working and uh, entertainment. And their the display is is uh, shaped conformed. Yeah, it's kind of curved, curved, curved design. Curved design. And natural inside the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, then you have some small ones also. This is for the. This is actually for smartphone. For smartwatch? Yeah. Oh, sorry, smartwatch, yeah. So, are you selling many? 1.2 inch, 1.4. Are you selling many, many uh, OLED smartwatch? Uh, Large quantities, right? Yeah, we've got uh, we've, we've got the instrument for uh, mass production. We have some, uh, we have kind of dozens of uh, you know lo local uh, local brands, uh, local customers. But uh, uh, actually, for our customer, uh, smartphone is the uh, major focus. Yeah. So, um, do you think the OLED uh, will surpass LTD? Yeah, definitely. How soon? Uh, that depends. That depends. As Dr. Zhang mentioned, that cost is very important, and uh, we believe that for the next, uh, for the coming years, actually the the bone cost can be lowered significantly. Yeah. How? Yeah. Big volume. That's how you do. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nowadays, actually, the Siemens guy is kind of like uh, less than 400 million. I mean, for the global market, but uh, like. Uh, uh, by 2022, basically that, that should be over 700 million. You know, you can you can you can imagine that the, the market kind of double, and I believe that the cost can be lowered very fast. And what are this? What is this display right here? Uh, this is actually uh, our actually our research uh, of the micro LED. Micro yeah. LED. So you also do micro LED uh, research. Research. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we are this big company. We don't uh, only we. For, for nowadays, actually, our mass production focus on AMOLED, but we also also get ready for future technology. And is this uh, blue TS, TSF uh, based blue OLED display? Yeah. Because OLED, the challenge for OLED is blue, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, what is the solution here? Yeah, actually, we adopt the TSF as it's, as it's mentioned. It's kind kind of uh, new, the latest material. So this is all uh, th th for this product actually. Uh, it's our R&D department. They develop such product, and to get ready for future, we always have the lab. I mean, to the re re research in the lab, and then for the uh, for the pyro, and then for the mass production. For because uh, uh, what is the solution right now? Is something about the life of blue in OLED yeah, is limited? Yeah, the efficiency is pretty good, so that can improve the lifetime. So what is this yeah. lifetime now for blue? Uh, the phone I, will last for ten years, or no? And here you have an ultra thin PMOLED display, world's thinnest PMOLED screen, 0 0.4 millimeters thick. So, very, very thin OLEDs are happening. And PMOLED is uh, something Visionox has been doing for a long time. What's the difference yeah. between PMOLED and AMOLED? As you just mentioned, it's a uh, different driving solution. But for PM uh, for PMOLED, actually, uh, the resolution, you know, all the PPI is lower than AMOLED, but uh, it's uh, it's kind of you know uh, cheap, and very low cost. Low cost, yeah, and so also uh, you know the uh, the marketing time is uh, is very quick, so th you can develop this very very fast. And where does it go? The PMOLED market. Oh, most previously, uh, you know, previously feature phone adopted this product, yeah. but after the smartphone, actually, it's kind. Uh, I'm not pretty sure. You Actually, uh, it's widely used for other applications. For example, like uh, medical, like 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 e card, like something else. Yeah. Nice. And this is a transparent OLED. Yeah. Uh, so you have uh, transmittance is sixty percent. Yeah. And right here, you can basically see through the OLED display. I'm not very sure. Yeah. So, do you have some special partnerships to do these amazing? Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Do you have a? Oh, here you're also showing fingerprint. This is working fingerprint reader. Yeah. Uh, so it's just through the directly through the display. Just your finger. How does it compare with compared to a physical fingerprint reader outside? 
How's the efficiency? Uh, you, you know, nowadays actually, it's a full, uh, previously all fingerprint recognition sensor like this, located to this position, but nowadays to you know, to realize the full screen, yeah. actually they have to move the fingerprint to the real yeah. tower actually. But the real tower is not that natural. So we nowadays uh, we believe uh, for AMOLED we can uh, we can realize the fingerprint under display. Like but how's the quality of this fingerprint reader yeah. compared to external fingerprint reader? Will uh, be the same efficiency, the same security, same. Yeah, the, uh, you know, for this year, it's uh, like kind of the first year to uh, to launch this, this product. I believe uh, for for next year, it can reach okay. the same yeah same effect. And TDI TDDI chip um, is showing uh, and two and touch and uh, driver IC integrated solution. Touch and driver IC. Yeah. Both in one, two in one. Yeah, yeah, two in one. And uh, this is under display fingerprint yeah, solution. This, yeah, yes, yeah, this one. And so it somehow it goes through the OLED because the uh, OLED is um, transparent somehow, or no, it's self uh, emitting. You know, for LCD, you have big light unit, so yeah. that means that you cannot adopt the uh, uh, fingerprint on un the display. Mm. And here's a 3D glass cover, some other ultra thin yeah. cover window. This is for the flexible project. Yeah. So this is the dream phone of the future that's going to be flexible. Uh, are we going to see this? this uh, actually, year? this is also ultra thin polarizer. It's very, very important for future. So, what does this one do? Polarizer. Yeah, ultra thin. What What is that for? Oh, polarizer is actually adopted for each display, including both LCD and AMOLED. They all need this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Uh, it can be work for AMOLED. It can be work, but you know, it's not that good, especially when you wear sunglasses. Yeah. So, um, how soon can I buy this this phone right here? It that depends on our customer actually. As, uh, as we mentioned previously, this is the display module, but uh, for smartphone brands, they still need to consider about other components, and especially for the uh, you know for, for the OS. So this becomes this. Yeah, yeah. And there's no no visible crease or anything. So your phone just basically the screen doubles in size. Yeah. So you can uh, you can solve the problem. But you know it's easy for hand carry. But uh, when you watch it, actually it's a much larger screen size. I don't think the battery and everything else it should not be an issue. So are you working with the very good uh, companies that are trying to make this? Uh, very I, I can I cannot uh, you know I Super. cannot mention the the, the company name, but, but we have we several. We have we have. We have uh, developed for that with 2019? Can you buy one? Uh, I think... 2019? Uh, probably 2019. 19? Probably. Yeah. It's so coming cool. soon. It's coming it's so soon. So cool. Yeah. And you can, you can maybe you can even fold it in four. <laughs> you yeah. can just fold, 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 more and more. Yeah, actually, I, I believe Dr. Dan mentioned this morning that, uh, you know, we already uh, mentioned uh, like, like, like 20, 000, over 20,000 times. 20,000 times you can open and close? Uh, no, 200,000. 200,000. And you can have the wallet style. Yeah, definitely need to be available. Uh, is there any challenge with the scratching? Of yeah, the yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. solve so, it already? Uh, actually, with uh, CD and uh, I mean, for for R&D product, it's okay. But for mass production, we still for uh, working on this part with our partners. Actually, 